Hi, my name is Sean Kaufman. I'm the director of the biosafety training programs here at Emory University. This small vignette that you're about ready to view captures five most critical lessons learned during our time on the road, both in the United States and around the world, training individuals in biosafety. Albert Einstein once said that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. If you're doing training in biosafety and you're not seeing the results that you're looking for, it may be time to change. Because the difference between a lesson learned and a lesson ignored is change. And we hope that this next five minutes will maybe open your eyes to doing something a little different. Lesson one, we have to address the biggest elephant in the room, and that elephant is that most trainings today do not produce the results we want, and so they end up being a waste of resources, time, and energy within organizations. Lesson two, we have to train for the right reasons. If you're training because you want to check a box, because it feels good, or because an incident has occurred, these reasons are all wrong. When people train and when you train your staff, you should be training to increase awareness, increase skills, or increase self-efficacy and the confidence within your staff. These are the right reasons to train. Lesson three, one training approach does not fit all. You have three levels of learners in your organization. You have novices that are just coming into your organization. You have practitioners that are doing the work in your organization. And you have experts that are leading the workforce. All three levels within your organization need to be trained. Novices need to learn why they do the things they do. Practitioners need to learn how to do the things they do. And experts need to learn when and where to apply their skills and experiences to help the practitioners and the novices. One training does not fit all, so you have to develop specified training programs to ensure that all staff get the greatest impact in training programs. Lesson four, allocation of time for training. If you take a professional who's working in a BSL-3 or BSL-4 laboratory and you ask yourself, what percentage of time should they spend on training, what answer would you give? Maybe once per year. Some sort of a medium where, you know, too much is too much, obviously, and too little is, can be harmful. I would probably say uh, 10 days would probably be pretty good. Are individuals who are working in BSL-3 and BSL-4 laboratories receiving enough training? Realistically, I don't think enough is given. I'm not sure because everybody at my job comes from a different background. I think for uh, some people that have a lot of experience, um, we certainly uh, enough time. The first thing that any organization must do to develop a good, effective biosafety training program is first identify how much time they will allocate for staff to train, and second, what knowledge and skills they want their staff to learn as a result of the training program. Lesson five, understanding behavioral evolution. Individuals who learn a new skill have an increased level of awareness and during this time are very aware of what it is that they are doing. After a certain period of time, individuals begin to perceive a level of mastery and they become very unaware of what it is that they're doing because they believe they have mastered the skill. This is when an incident or a near miss takes place. And when that incident or near miss takes place, a change occurs as a result of that and leads them back to a new level of awareness. Now they don't go back to where they were before. They actually achieve a new level of mastery as a result of that incident. But the problem then becomes complacency. Over a period of time, they forget about this near incident and they become complacent, which then leads to another near miss or incident. Behavioral evolution is a concept that you use so that you can induce mistakes among your staff in a safe environment so the consequence of those mistakes are not so severe. So there it is, folks. Thank you for watching. Uh, please stay tuned. Uh, we have many other biosafety vignettes that will be coming out uh, to you shortly. 
We hope this was a benefit for you. Should you have any questions or comments, we would love to hear them. Please reach out.